Okay, this video I show that uh, solutions for my model paper. Let's say publish already in the YouTube. Those are newcomers, subscribe these and you can see that uh, model paper structure type pure mathematics. So I hope others work successfully and uh, waiting for my solution. Check with me and decide the answer. So the first part, first question in mathematical induction. Mathematical induction for a problem sigma <coughs> 1 over 3r minus 1 3r minus 1 into 3r plus 2 r takes uh, from 1 to n it is equal to what n over uh, 6n plus 4 Okay, it's the traditional way, the first problem in pure maths paper structured. You can see all the past exam papers. First part is uh, using mathematical induction proof. So, you know, I hope that uh, you know this how to solve, how to show, how to prove the mathematical induction in three steps. First, to show n equal 1, that is true. Second part, take assume that if n equal p, the given statement is true, hence go to the n equal p plus 1 so if n equal 1 if n equal 1 what is the left hand side LHS sigma 1 over 3 r minus 1 3 r plus 2 r equal from 1 to 1 n is 1 that means first term, so apply for R for 1 and simplify. That is 1 over a 3 times 1 minus 1 into 3 times 1 plus 2. So for the answer, 1 over here 2, here 5, the answer 1 over 10, left hand side 1 over 10. Let's see what is RHS. Right hand side put n for 1, 1 over 6 into 1 plus 4, therefore 1 over 10. Therefore we call the LHS equal to RHS. Okay, then you can write a statement below. There are for the given uh, statement is true for n equal 1 therefore the given statement is true for n equal 1 this is first point of any induction proving pattern what is next point assume that assume that the given statement true for n equal p Assume that the given statement or given equation or given formula or anything you can write uh, It's true for n equal p or something with n equal k also n equal p right therefore that is That is copywriting write the same thing where is n say p Sigma 1 over 3 r minus 1 into 3 r plus 2 R equal 1 to P, R 1 to N for P equal to what? Uh, P over 6P plus 4. P over 6P plus 4. Let's copyright issue N equal P. Assume that. We take that and using that we have to show if N equal P plus 1, the given statement is true. So I hope you complete successfully. So check with me. Those newcomers go through my video. If you subscribe, you can see the previous video. I published that uh, full uh, sheet, the exam uh, question, the model paper. Okay, so next point, what? N equal P plus 1, right? N equal P plus 1. If n equal p plus 1 
So what is P plus 1's term mean? First term, second term, third term, up to P plus 1's term. Otherwise up to P terms and the other one needs additionally P plus 1th uh, term, right? So I show what happens. Sigma 1 over 3R minus 1 into 3R plus 2 R equal 1 to N4 P plus 1. R N4 P plus 1, right? So from for example 1 to 100, I can write 1 to 100 how? 1 to 99 plus 100th term or 1 to 20, 1 to 19 term in order plus 20th term. So like that, like that I can show this sigma, I show you two parts, I add from 1 to P separately and P plus 1th term. R equal 1 to P 3R minus 1 into 3R plus 2 this is P term up to some of the P up to P term summation plus the P plus 1 term and I like the U P plus 1 that is P plus 1 term U means term right or T T you can write T also so wherever we should, uh, use the n equal p plus 1, we need the assumption answer to substitute here. So you know these r equal 1 to p, the summation we assume that p over 6p plus 4, we write that p over 6p plus 4 and up plus 1. So what is P plus 1's term here? What is first term? Put R41, get it. What is second term? Put R42 and get it. What is tenth term? Put R410, get it. Like that P plus 1's term, put R4, P plus 1. This is 1 over 3 R4, P plus 1 minus 1 into 3 R4 P plus 1 plus 2. So better before completing this, you will know what the solution to simplify answer should comes what? Actually in the statement other side, N4 P plus 1. So if you put N4 P plus 1, uh, 6 into N4 P plus 1 plus 4. Therefore, P plus 1 over 6P plus, what is, uh, 10. For so like this pattern, you have to simplify, collect it. So better you go to, before finishing the problem, try what the answer to be, what the so solution to be shown here. That is put in for P plus 1, right? Which is okay, 6 into P plus 6P plus, yes. We simplify, try to get that pattern here, they are for true. So therefore, P over 6P plus 4 plus 1 over uh, 3P, 3P plus 3 plus minus 1 plus 2. And here 3P plus 5, 3P plus 5. So, I show here, equal P over, I can take the 2 out, take the 2 out, 2 into P plus 2 plus 1 over 3P plus 2 into 3P plus 5. I now simplify using algebraic fractions, uh, simplify it is. So take uh, the denominators, uh, let me sign this, 3, 3p, three 3p three plus 2, right? So here 2 into 3p plus 2 into 3p plus 5, the denominator. 
So here what therefore this uh, P into 3P plus 5 plus here this uh, simplify the 2. Okay, so that is what uh, 3P square plus 5P plus 2 over 2 into 3P plus 2 into 3P plus 5. Now you can factorize the denominator, you can factorize that above. This can be factorized multiple 6. So sum is uh, 5, 1 times so this 2 and 3, 6, 2 and 3, 6. Simplify. So that's equal to, you can factorize that one. Factorize 3p plus 2 and what uh, p plus 1 check the 3p square 3p plus over 2 into 3p plus 2 into 3p plus 5 and this is cancelled that is cancelled therefore p plus 1 over 2 into 3p plus 5 is it correct? check that p plus 1 yes 6p plus 10 so we get that part here but when writing the final answer showing the original given equation n4p plus 1 and show that pattern so n4p plus 1 it's like a black card above, above also like a black card over how the 6 you can write that 6 can I write the 6 into p plus 1 plus 4 is it check that 6p yes 6p available 1 times 6 and 4 10 available there are for true then you can write a statement below there are 4 which is true uh, assume for n equal p there are for true for n equal p plus 1 Therefore, by mathematical induction, the given statement is true for any, they mark the integer, any integer value n, which is true for any integer value n. It's a series. The series question, same can prove using the series knowledge also, but here mathematical induction. So, I hope you completely check it. Maybe it's correct in order. That's the step we're using in induction. Okay, second question, second problem in order the structure paper, they ask inequality solving. So I gave that uh, to sketch the two graphs first, y equal, y equal 3 minus x square, y equal 3 minus x square and y equal 2 of the mod x. Two of the models, simple like a primary work, the basic ideas of the drawing the modulus graph and how the y equal 3 minus like all level graphs, so the, with the maximum curve, parabolic curve. So you draw these two graphs in one axis. When you draw these inequality problems, the intersection points are important. So properly where the graph cuts the x-axis or y-axis or both graphs cuts where. So, x axis y axis origin and how the y equal 3 minus x square the parabolic curve like this okay y equal 3 minus okay. yeah don't use a differentiation method to draw rough sketch if you good idea of this all elements i think parabolic curve so it's the maximum point 3 okay how to draw the other graph y equal 
y equal to modulus x. So if you know the modulus properties, modulus means two parts, plus part and the minus part. When it's valid, x greater or equal zero mod one type, x less than zero mod becomes other type. Just like this, if x greater or equal zero, there is absolute value, absolutely this is positive, if it's positive inside the mod, positive, you can say as it is y equal 2x, if mod is positive, that is you can write as it is, other one if x less than zero, x negative side x less than zero, y equal and it become minus, become minus x, right? Therefore, minus 2x. It's the two parts, every modulus linear form equation, modular parts, two graphs, two shapes available. So draw this y equal mx pattern through the origin. y equal mx form, y equal minus mx, so the same reflected. So if you draw a rough diagram, one is like this. Therefore, the other one is like this. The two shapes, right? This is y equal 2x. This is y equal minus 2x. Two graphs available. This is the graph y equal 3 minus x square. 3 minus x square. So now after completing, you need the intersection coordinate, especially you need this coordinate. And also this coordinate. This is symmetric figure, right? This is parabolic also. The y is symmetric line. This also symmetrically uh, in the same angle from the positive direction and from negative direction means because the gradients are numerically equal. So find this coordinate. How to find this? So y equal to x. And this y equal. 3 minus x square. Solve that pair of equation and find where the both cuts. So if you connect the both, 1 comma 2 gives you uh, 3 minus x square equal 2x. Or otherwise, what rearrange x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 then the factors are 1 times 2 1 times 2 when you multiply the vectors are 1 times 2 and get the answer no? uh, x but uh, plus 3 1 times uh, x minus 1 equal to 0 is it x square minus x plus 3x plus we have a solution x equal 1 O x equal minus 3. Oh, that means where are these line and the curve cuts? Why there are two solutions? If you produce y equal to x like this, the y equal to x is straight line. Y equal to x, it cuts here, here a coordinate. If you produce it, cut become minus 3. But overall modulus graph, it won't come down here, this part. So we can take this is 1. That is 1. Also, symmetric shape, it become minus 1. 1 and minus 1, important point. Also, you can say this point, but in this point, the graph, the parabolic graph, y equal 3 minus x square, cuts the x-axis, put y for 0. Put y for 0, so x equal 1, square root 3, plus or minus. This is root 3, and here minus root 3. So sketch is roughly completed, draw this intersection part, show the maximum value and everything clear. So now what the question is, sol, sol x square plus 2 times modulus x, x square plus 2 times modulus x less than or equal 3. Solve this inequality using the this graph. So this the we probably see all the past papers, such a problem available, 25 marks structure type. 
So uh, using the graph, we can calculate the boundaries or range of the x values. So see these graphs here available. These graphs are available. So can I rearrange? Can I take here two modulus x less than or equal three minus x square less than or equal three minus x square. This is the straight line we drawn. That's the parabola we drawn. So this y answer bigger. Here y, this y answer is bigger than this. Example, if I show this is y1, this is y2. So I'm showing example y1 and y2. So this is a y2 less than or equal y1. That means uh, parabolic y part is upper. Parabolic for every x values. For every x values, parabolic y part is up. A straight line y part is down. See, for example, if I draw a line, if I draw a line here, it's come like this. I cut somewhere here, here a y value, here a y value. Here, straight line y is up. Straight lines y value is up, parabola y value is down. But we need the parabola, y value should be up. See somewhere here. See this line I drawn, particular x value. This is what y2. This is what y1. This is y2. I gender example, I'm showing y1, y2. y2 and y1. I need the y1 is bigger, yes. y1 is up, y2 is down. See an example somewhere like this. Uh, here, what uh, this is uh, straight line y2. Uh, somewhere here cuts here. This is y1. Here, y2 is up, y1 is down. No, you can't take because we, the y1 should be up. So, if you do another line here, this is y2. This is y1, parabolic shape y1. Straight line here, y2. So the idea, parabolic shape should be up than the straight line. Therefore, this part is it. This part. This is the range. Therefore, the answer between minus one and plus one. Between minus one and plus one, the parabolic graph up or above than the linear graph, straight line graph. Therefore, the answer of the x element you can show that it is minus 1 less than or equal, they mark the equal also, equal 1. It's the solution for x is the element of, another pattern of writing this, x is the element of minus 1 comma 1, box bracket. It's the pure maths notation. x is the element of lower boundary minus 1, upper boundary plus 1. So I hope you complete it. The note is very neat. It's I already published the paper. Before me, if you work only, it's very interesting. Otherwise, copywriting worst. You try it. So any corrections, keep it. Stop the my video and check it. And those newcomers, subscribe this and see previous video. I published this completely structure model paper. Next question number three, if the coefficient of x to the power seven, the coefficient of the x to the power seven, x square plus one over bx to the power 11, coefficient of the x to the power seven, So they say the x to the power 7 of one expansion and x to the power minus 7 of the other expansion are equal, then show that answer. What is the answer? a b equal to 1. 
if you expand you know is under what binomial expansion problem expanding the by one nc node nc1 like that expanding pattern if you expand it has 12 terms he also 12 terms in that order the term there is an answer there is a value consists of x to the power 7 he also if you expand there is a value uh, x to the power minus 7 so now we found see which term belongs here x to the power 7 which term takes what are the coefficient of the terms belongs to x to the power 7 same as here which term belongs to the x to the power minus 7 so they both coefficients are equal show that a b equal to 1 so the idea is such a problem we'll find the general term of the each expansion general term right so general term write this general term let's we call t r plus 1 right general term we call the terms are called t it stands for not capital t capital letter so general term t r plus 1 how to write the general term 11 c r 11 c r and a x square completely power 11 minus r 11 minus r and 1 over bx to the power what r okay this is the matter how you write the general term of any expansion here if it's called n generally called n c r the r plus 1 means the r here 10 means here 9 here 50 means here 49 right and now we simplify this day completely x to the power is what? So 11 CR uh, A to the power 11 minus R X to the power what? 22 minus 2 R And then this 1 over P to the power R 1 over x to the power r. I am showing step by step. So note this if you not been complete. Note this pattern and study for any for future problems. Completely power belongs to a, belongs to x square, also here r, right? So here a, b are constant numbers. a and b are constants. So what is that? 11 c r. So can I show complete the a and b part first? a to the power 11 minus r over what is that? b to the power r. Uh, these are the constant part here. And what is x to the power? What is completely x to the power? You know that uh, indices rules dividing subtract the power. No? Here x to the power r. 1 to the power r is 1. Okay. Here r to the power r. x to the power r take up minus r therefore 22 minus it's uh, 3r is it okay 22 minus 3r 22 minus 3r this is the answer for x to the power 7 coefficient idea right now we find which term belongs which term gives you x to the power 7 therefore in this case this should be 7 x to the power so it's the coefficient this part is a completely coefficient with number value in algebraic expression numerical part they call the coefficient it's completely number value because a is a number b is a number here also we have a simplification idea ncr form factorial notation we'll see later so now we find r is what r equal to what so make this to seven right so i write here they are 22 minus 3 r equal to 7 so solve this therefore 3 r equal to what 15 uh, r equal 5 r equal 5 what do you mean r equal 5 put r for 5 6 6 term if you expand this 6 term is the coefficient of power 7 
sixth term coefficient is the power of the x to the power 7. So here r equal 5. Therefore, if you put r for 5, you can find the coefficient. Then also I complete it. Therefore, uh, u, u for coefficient, right? Capital T we call for term. U for we say coefficient. So r is 5. 5 plus 1, 6. Equal to here 11 c r for 5 a to the power what 11 minus r 11 minus 5 6 over b4 b to the power r for 5 okay and this is the this part over that means x to the power 7 coefficient is this 11 c 5 a to the power 6 over b to the power 5 now come the same idea same idea we follow for these things same idea you can go to this part connect but find the r value first and find what is the coefficient we need so here general term how the general term that means uh, T R plus one eleven C R A X to the power eleven minus R and this minus important my you can't avoid the minus minus one over B X square to the power this R is the way how to write a general form any type of expansion now follow you can minimize the same idea now here just don't do all the part once again try to complete quickly so 11 c r here what a to the power 11 minus r can i write this uh, over b to the power r and minus 1 to the power r also available minus 1 to the power r right that also available minus 1 to the power r and see completely how x term x to the power what what x to the power here yeah, 11 minus r take this up x to the power minus 2 r is it there for 11 minus 3 r 11 minus 3 r right 11 minus 3 r so now this expansion we need what is the coefficient belongs to x to the power minus 7 x to the power minus 7 therefore this part should be minus 7 hence you can find the which term is belongs find the r r small r belong to the which term therefore 11 minus 3 r equal to minus 7 11 minus 3 r equal to minus 7 so simplify that 3 r equal to 18 uh, r equal 6 if you complete the first part properly many steps here you can minimize the step try to complete quickly uh, therefore what is r for 6 means seventh term t7 put r for 6 t7 is the coefficient takes place like that therefore coefficient is seventh term coefficient seventh term coefficient what is that put r for 6 here a to the power 11 minus 6 5 b to the power 6 and there's a minus 1 also minus 1 r4 that's 6 Oh, I missed that 11 CR miss I missed the 11 CR 11 C 6 so in the first expansion sixth term coefficient is x to the power 7 the second expansion seventh term coefficient is x to the power minus 7 now what they say this both are equal this both are same then we simplify find this answer a b equal to 1 
So given that, next write this given that, given that, for that, u6 equal u7, so substitute u6, 11 c5, a to the power 6 over b to the power 5 equal 11 c6 uh, 11 c5 11 c6 a to the power 5 over b to the power 6 uh, you know minus 1 power 6 is positive 1 right okay now if we know the notation of the ncr some ideas of ncr ncr equal to what ncn minus r both same ncr equal to nc subject this put that for example uh, 10 c4 equal to what 10 c6 therefore in this case 11 c5 11 c6 both cancel both cancel so here 1a here 1a, here below 1b simplify, cross multiple therefore a b equal 1. So best question super problem for expectation for the future exams. So I hope you complete this or is the method copy it. Okay, then we'll see next question. That is calculus part limits. So I hope you complete. You complete that. You are waiting for my solution, my method. Limit x tends to pi by three. Limit x tends to pi by three tan x tan x minus root 3 over cos x minus sin x by 2 minus sin x by 2 find the answer so i hope you worked or use it by any method so long method or short method so see how i am showing to check with sometimes mine is too long or any other methods available right okay so what, what do you mean limit if you apply x4 pi by 3 tan pi by 3 is root 3 cos pi by 3 is half if you put x4 pi by 3 pi by 6 sine pi by 6 half so root 3 minus root 3 is 0 below also half minus half is 0 Therefore, you guys call one of the indeterminate form 0 over 0, one of the indeterminate form, otherwise called meaningless, meaningless form. Therefore, you have to find the answer by any other limit theorem using the limit theorem. So, also one of the questions you see on the paper structure type limit, one of the problem. You can't avoid, you can't, that's all everything compulsory, all 10 questions. You can't select it, you must work this thing. Okay, see how I am showing this. It's equal limit x tends to pi by 3 tan x is root 3. I am showing that tan what? Tan pi by 3. Tan pi by 3 over. You know the limit here, especially for trigonometry problems comes but the idea sine theta over theta. Sine theta over theta is the main part in trigonometric issues. So my idea to work out sine theta over theta pattern. Therefore write this cos x sine 90 minus x. 
is it sin 90 minus x cos x minus sin x by 2 sin x by 2 so limit x tends to pi by 3 Uh, here the numerator I convert to sine over cos tan theta sine over cos pattern sine over cos is tan we have a tan is sin x over cos x minus tan pi by 3 sin pi by 3 over cos pi by 3 Here, uh, here see sin c minus sin d pattern. What is sin c minus sin d? 2 cos, add the 2, write the half. Other one is sin, subtract, write the half. I show that. Sin c minus sin d, 2 cos, add this 2, pi by 2 minus x my, plus x by 2 and half sin c minus sin d pattern other one is cos sin this minus this divide by 2 pi by 2 minus x minus x by 2 divide by 2 okay right now what happen limit x tends to pi by 3 I use it that uh, denominator multiple here, multiple here becomes <coughs> sin x cos pi by 3 minus cos x sin pi by 3 over you write the, the denominator cos x cos pi by 3 what is below here is a 2 I show this 2 here and write this cos uh, what the complete answer here can I mark this multiply by half here multiply by 2 inside pi by 4 cos pi by 4 here completely minus 1x plus half x minus 1x plus half x minus half x so multiple minus x by 4 Okay, the same what is here sine uh, pi by 4, right? Pi by 4. And here minus 3 over 2, minus 1, minus half, minus 1 and half, or 3 over 2. Multiple this, that is 3x by 4, right? Okay, that's the pattern. So next I write here. Now see limit x tends to pi by 3. What is form numerator trigonometry? Sin x cos pi by 3 minus cos x sin pi by 3. It is sin a minus b. Sin a minus b form. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Sin a minus b form, right? It is sin what? x minus pi by 3 over here 2 cos oh wait wait I'll show like that you know the as I mentioned earlier sin theta over theta pattern sin theta over theta therefore after below this sign I show this sign part right so sin pi by 4 minus 3x by 4 and there's a 2 also I show the 2 here so you know the cost no problem tan theta we have general uh, form of a limit theorem cost no problem because cost no is 1 right so now I show all the cost parts separately 1 over but the cost part here cos x I can write the value also cos pi by 3 is half. Can I change this cos pi by 3? I write cos pi by 3 and cos pi by 4 minus x by 4. 
That is separate. Is everything known answer, not at the depending of the independent that uh, limits, say independent terms, right? Okay. Now we come here. Limit x tends to pi by three. Ah, uh, here we simplify sine theta over theta pattern. Sine theta over theta form sine. This is x minus pi by three. Sin x minus pi by three. Therefore, here see, can I take the same idea here? Uh, is two there? Sin x minus pi by three. See if I write show that x minus pi by three. Actually, three x by four. Therefore, I should change it, right? Is it how? Uh, it's a minus problem. Minus. Uh, take a minus. Sine minus theta minus sine theta, right? And can I say I took that uh, three over four out? Three over four out. See, important. But it's the important tricky. It's the tricks in this question. Take the three over four out. Then three x over four. Is it okay? Three x over four. And here three three cancel pi by four. See everything okay, no? Three three cancel pi by four is available, okay? And into uh, one over. I write the value cos pi by three is half. Cos pi by three is half. And to cos x. Cos. Pi by four minus x over four. Okay. Now see what happened. This two, this two cancel. So there's a minus in the answer. There's a minus, right? Limit x tends to pi by three. X tends to pi by three. Now I change once again sine theta over theta pattern. So sine x minus pi by three. Take a sine theta, then over theta. X minus pi by three. Okay. Now see. This is an additional term. Remember, this is the additional part, not in the original problem, right? So therefore, one over uh, here. What the sine term? Sine theta over theta. Sine three over four into x minus pi by three. Then you need over three over four x minus pi by three. Okay, is it sine theta over theta pattern? Sine theta over theta. And now see, uh, this x minus pi by three, x minus pi by three cancel. X minus pi by three, x minus pi by three parts are cancel. Sine, this is available. There's a minus okay, minus okay, right? And uh, sine three fourth into this is available. So there's an additional part. This is three over four. This three over four is an additional part. Therefore, remove that. How to remove this three over four? Then right here it goes that uh, four over three. Then this uh, or one over three over four. You write it four over three. And here one over this cos correction cos x. Cos pi by four minus x by two x by four. Okay, you see, and it's the important part, the important point in this question. How to change it, right? How to change this? So is it okay for what's the additional part? Additional part to remove. Three over four. So this one over this over this three over four. Remove this four over three. Okay. Now see the answer finally.
here minus uh, sine theta over theta pattern when x pi by 3 becomes 0 that our answer is 1 here right 1 into 1 over uh, the sine theta over theta pattern 1 and there's a 4 over 3 okay the so 4 over 3 and here what happened here see cos x cos x x4 pi by 3 cos pi by 3 half is 1 over half into all into what is cos pi by 4 minus x by 4 cos pi by 4 minus x4 put pi by 3 pi by 12 pi by 12 what is that cos here 12 3 pi 2 pi by 12 what is that cos pi by 6 what is cos pi by 6? root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 so others you can apply all the values so therefore 1 over root 3 by 2 so this step is the important part of this question right if you break this part or this point then the problem becomes easier so therefore to, to 416 check the answer is minus 16 over 3 root 3 is the correct answer minus 16 over 3 root 3 is the correct solution for this problem so very important question maybe there are various sometimes you can use the substitute method also x minus pi by 3 u x minus pi by 3 is u or any term different term not in the question you can change it uh, you can solve it but the answer is same anymore so practice this the type of expectation in the future structured pure maths papers Next uh, question number five. I published already in the channel. You can see the channel that uh, this paper available. What is question number five? It's complex number. State De Moivre's theorem. State the De Moivre's theorem. It's a very old theorem. Very old papers. We have this De Moivre. But here once again, the syllabus from 2019. They implement the De Moivre's theorem. Only the application we need know any big proofs of De Moivre's theorem that is using the mathematical induction. Prove the De Moivre's theorem as we have the old syllabus nearly before uh, 90s, 99, before 2000. We had that question like prove the mathematical using induction, the De Moivre's theorem. Large proof that. But here they ask only state the De Moivre's theorem or write the De Moivre's theorem. Okay, so write this De Moivre's theorem. Say that uh, let is that equal cos theta plus i sin theta is that equal this complex number polar form polar form of a complex number is that equal cos theta plus i sin theta and and n is a uh, and n is a uh, positive integer or a negative integer or a rational positive integer or a negative integer or a rational number or rational then z to the power n z to the power n equal so what is power n? if you square it both sides square it if you qubit, you put power 3, both sides put power 3. So power n cos theta plus i sin theta to the power n. Okay, which is equal to. So what is Demova says? 
this end you can write inside with the theta multiple with the angle right this power multiple with the angle that is uh, cos n theta plus i sine n theta so if you show they will give the five marks or near the marks in the scheme state the de Moivre's theorem let z equal cos theta plus i sine theta and n is a positive integer or a negative integer or a rational that means fraction then show this is the de Moivre's theorem okay now using this there's a problem so they may not mention the z therefore the student knows what is z here here no r right no r not necessarily the r value usually we call polar form of a complex number is how z equal r into cos theta plus i sin theta here not necessary when writing the demos theorem r not available if they mention with the r you can continue that what happen if r comes uh, for example, r is 2 to the power 4, to the power n, to the power 9, that's, that's a different number. That's completely absolute, that means a real value, you know. So, no connection with the r here. Okay, now the question is, uh, write the expression for z to the power n addition minus n, right? z to the power n subbreak minus n. The problem available is that write the expression for this so the n is given so finally we go to the answer okay so i say first equation i say first equation is that the power n we know is that to the power n next what is is that to the power minus n put n for minus one is that to the power minus n equal for that cos minus theta plus i sin what put n for minus 1 minus theta okay then what what is cos minus theta cos theta sin minus theta minus sin theta so minus i sin theta okay that's all that's all they ask find the z to the power n now see what happened, add this to, add this to 1 plus, uh, first they ask uh, subbreak, uh, subbreak then first minus 2 what happened, z to the power n, subbreak z to the power minus n, subbreak, what happened when you subbreak, i sin theta n for minus n, so it means n for minus n for minus 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 put n minus n minus minus check that minus n no minus so subtract what happened so i sin n theta minus i sin n theta cancel cos cos 2 cos 2 cos n theta 2 cos n theta. I say third equation. Next what? Addition. I add the both. Add the both. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2. Is that to the power n plus is that to the power minus n? Add the both. So what happened when you add these two? Uh, Subject, subject, missing. As I mentioned here, the addition that I missed that. Cos cancel 2i sin n theta. Okay, when you add the both on the sin cancel 2 cos n theta. I had a mistake, I had a mistake. I said the initially add, add the both, now that's why I showed that answer. But actually, subtracting first part. Therefore, what happened when subtract cos cos cancel sine term, and here when you add the both sine cancel cos term, right? This is fourth part. And now there is a question finally show that is that minus one over is that plus one? 
z minus 1 over z plus 1. Uh, that's the main part of this question. There's no n. Like n is 1. n is 1, or you can't say there's no n value, right? z minus 1 over z plus 1. Anyhow, that's become a division. It's become a division part. Therefore, we divide. We divide this and see what happened. This divide by this. Third equation divided by the fourth equation. Check the third divided by the fourth. Then what happened? Z to the power n minus z to minus n over z to the power n plus z to the power minus n equal to what? Equal to divide what happened? 2 to cancel i tan theta is it i tan theta tan and theta uh, i tan and theta it's a nice question nice works to get this i tan and theta but the problem is see the answer is shown show that i tan theta by 2 i tan theta by 2 I tan theta by 2. So what happened to the n value? Put n for what? By 2. Half. Half. Put n for half. Is it? If you write n for half, it becomes I tan half theta. So with the answer, decide the suitable value for n. So next step, substitute n for half. If n equal half, z to the power half minus z to the power minus half over z to the power half plus z to the power minus half equal to what? I tan half theta. Uh, now we see how to work this becomes z, z minus 1 not half in the answer z minus 1 over z plus 1 there yeah, what the idea you multiple z to the power half up and down multiple numerator denominator by z to the power half and see every term in the expression in the fraction multiply z to the power half z to the power half into z to the power half base the same at the power half into half 1 z to the power 1 minus z to the minus, minus half multiplied by z to the power half it becomes z to the power 0 that is 1 the same here i tan half theta is the answer the best question Best expectation of future type problems.